Sony has its own rules in place. Of what content makes it onto the PlayStation 4, rules that are sometimes stricter than those of regional rating systems, like the ESA. The captain is said as much in conversation with the Wall Street Journal, by the Engadget, explaining that it has its own guidelines in place that deal with sexual material in games. Though the company did not detail if how long the policy has been in place, the story does not mention the specific rules of what Sony considers an appropriate threshold for sexual content. But a spokesperson said that the goal is to help devs offer well-balanced content without interfering with the sound growth and development of younger players. As Engadget points out, this internal policy may be why the most recent Devil May See or why USC Dear noticeable lens flare to cover up some minor nudity in the PlayStation 4 version of the game. A change that was not reflected in the Japanese PS4 release, a worldwide PC and X1 versions, as mentioned by Eurogamer. Some other games have reportedly been delayed on PS4 in the past due to requests that the developers remove some content deemed inappropriate ahead of its release. LGBTQ media advocacy organization. Not a point at its inaugural award, for outstanding video game told Elder Scrolls Online, Somerset, during the 30th annual Blood Media Awards last night, as explained in a press release. The outstanding video game category was introduced to the Blood Media Awards late last year, following the recent influence of LGBTQ representation in games. Other nominees are NCLUDDGUILD Wars Tour, Path of Fire, Pillars of Eternity Second, Deathfire, Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, and The Sims Mogul. The Elder Scrolls Online Somerset expansion was selected for one of its quest lines, Manor of Masks, where players were tasked in helping to reunite a transgender woman with her estranged twin sister. The game was selected for how the quest we need to tweak the difficult topics of coming out and acceptance in a way that re-f-l-e-c-t-e-d-t-h-e lived. The reality of many transgender people today, the video game landscape, is ever expanding, and it's critical that all players see themselves represented fairly and accurately in the content. Said Chief Programs Officer Red Gloss Xdogs, LGBTQ people are an important and growing part of the gaming community, and we are so proud to honor an impressive slate of nominees in this first year. Red Dead Redemption Tour publisher Take Two has become embroiled in a legal tussle with the real world Pinkerton Detective Agency. Pinkerton agents feature heavily in Red Dead Tour and will pursue the player and their ragtag band of outlaws across the Wild West in an attempt to bring them to justice. The organization has also been spotlighted in other works of media, including movies and television shows like Threat and Toyuma, Deadwood, The Legend of Zorro, Reaper Street, and games such as Bioshock Infinite and the original Red Dead Redemption. For whatever reason, however, which could have something to do with Red Dead 2 as extraordinary in success. Pinkerton Consulting Investigations have now decided to take issue with its usage in Rockstar's open-world sequel. As reported by The Verge, the company sent a cease and desist letter to take to last week, demanding royalties for the use of the Pinkerton name in-game, although the letter praised Rockstar's clear affection. For the Pinkerton Company, it also claimed Red Dead 2 was trading on the goodwill associated with its trademarks, as you might be guessed. Take Two has refused to play ball, and is now suing Pinkerton Consulting Investigations for trying to profit off Red Dead 2 as success, and claims the game is protected by the First Amendment. Defendants claim to hold trademark rights in the names Pinkerton.
Detective Agency, and Pinkerton, which are used in Red Dead Tour. Defendants assert that plaintiffs have infringed those rights by referencing the historical Pinkerton National Detective Agency and Pinkerton Agents and using the Pinkerton National Detective Agency's historical badge in the game, explain Take Two in a court filing. By doing so, defendants ignore well established First Amendment principles that protect expressive works like Red Dead Two from exactly the types of claims that defendants have lodged against plaintiffs. Put simply, defendants cannot use trademark law to own the past and prevent creators from including historical references to Pinkerton agents in depictions of the American West. You can check out the complete court document below, which details Pinkerton consulting investigations, initial demands, and take two's response. Take two interactive versus Pi by Onscreed, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, when Tender Fire lately fathered the LC, involving the main character being required to get married and have a child. Many people out there were upset about this, just as there were people who did not see it as a big deal. For today, I want to talk about how you base off the stepped into a track of their own making, and how this is not the first time my developer has done this. Video games are built on a set of rules and constraints defined by the developers. As the consumer, we have an unwritten contract. When it comes to playing a video game, the developer agrees to make the best possible version of the game for us to enjoy and we agree to the constraints on the objectives present. If a game says that we are a badass ninja, who goes around killing everyone, expecting a peaceful resolution, mechanic would not be right. Every video game has rules that affect what we can and cannot do within the game space. With that said, this is where the idea of player choice comes into play and its impact on the player experience. Choice in video games is a major element that has only gotten bigger over time. Any way for the player to customize a personalize their experience has an impact on their enjoyment of the game. Choice can be as small as what hairstyle options are available, to as vast as letting the player determine the ending of the game. Choice is something that you cannot take lightly as a developer. As we have talked about before, once the player realizes that choice does not matter and the illusion is shattered, you will never be able to get that back. From a gameplay standpoint, if the player learns that their build cannot get through the game, they will most likely quit playing. From a personalization standpoint, players can become upset if you offer personalization options but they are not able to represent themselves in the game. With Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Ubisoft did the one thing you never do as a developer with, choice, you let the player make choices and then take them away. I have not played Odyssey yet, and can only go by those outlets, but here is a spoiler free of a discussion about what happened. The game's major marketing point was having two defined characters to choose from, a man or a woman to play as. Both characters have their own personality, voice actors, mannerisms, etc. The player is free to make choices as to how they behave and respond to people, impacting major events, relationships, and so on. The big twist at the end of the last DLC episode, and what has everyone upset, is how the character regardless of your choices decides to marry and have a child. For people who chose their character to be single, or have same-sex relationships, the game overrides their choice in favor of the narrative. And that takes us to the double-edged side of choice in video games, and where all the extra, a massive, work comes in. Choice does not matter if it's not represented in some way in your game. And as we talked about, it's even worse if you take away choices the player has made. 
far every major decision the player makes in a game. Those elements should have ramifications going forward. This is where a lot of the controversies surrounding the Mass Effect trilogy came in. By aware built up three games worth of decisions by the player, and then tried to condense that all down into just three endings. I know what you are thinking right now, expecting them to cover all the decisions is madness.